Good morning. Thank you for joining me on this dim but beautiful morning. It's beautiful not only weather-wise, but it's beautiful because Christ is Lord. Today we're working our way through uh, Psalm 26. In particular, we are going to look at verses 6 and 7 in our time together. So I invite you to pray with me and we'll get into God's word in just a second. Father, speak how good you are. And as you speak and tell of your goodness, you demonstrate your faithfulness. I pray, God, that you would loosen our lips and uh, strengthen our hands to be disciples that tell of your greatness and your goodness. Oh, Lord, speak to our minds and hearts now in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 26, a disciple psalm, as I'm calling it, a, a psalm for the uh, a disciple. Uh, verse 6 and 26 says, I wash my hands in innocence and go around your altar, O Lord, proclaiming thanksgiving aloud and telling all your wondrous deeds. We all tell a story. We tell of what is most important or who is most important uh, by our actions, by our priorities, by the management of our time, uh, by the use of our resources. We, we tell a story. We tell of the, the one ultimate allegiance that we have. And it'd be interesting for us to all take stock of that and see what, what it is. And here, David is very clear that in verse 6, I, I wash my hands in, in innocence. There's, there's a ritual purification and clean, cleanliness that he has. He, he's very uh, consistent and faithful to make sure that he keeps short accounts of things that he has done that would be deemed sinful. And he's, he's coming and, and offering the sacrifice and the, the purification of, of washing that he goes through, he goes around your altar, O oh Lord. In other words, uh, he abides in God's presence. He wants to ever be near to the Lord. And all of this, so that's what David does in seeking the Lord. But then this is what do, David does in speaking of the Lord. He goes proclaiming thanksgiving aloud. Imagine if we walked around and we always were thanking God for everything. I know that this is going to sound silly and and ridiculous, but you know you you have a safe drive from your home to Kroger, and you're oh thank you Jesus. The waiter or waitress delivers your food at the restaurant, and it's exactly as you hope. And you're like oh praise you God. A friend calls, and you have a chance to talk with them on the phone, and you're like Lord, you're so good. What if in and uh, in regards to everything, we were always overflowing with thanksgiving, with gratitude, with praise? David here is, I'm proclaiming thanksgiving and aloud. He's not like, well, I'm grateful in my heart. God knows what my real intentions. No, David is not just saying, God, I want you to play a guessing game or I want you to read the, the secrets of my heart. David is saying, I'm speaking it aloud proclaiming thanksgiving aloud and telling all your wondrous deeds. He, he, he not only thanks God out loud, but he, he can't stop telling the world and everyone around him all that God has done. God has done and is continuing to do great things. Most significant and central we can tell of the work of God's salvation through the suffering and the death and the resurrection of his son, Jesus Christ, the cross. We can ever talk and speak of the cross because the cross is what redefines our lives. It's what reclaims us, what redeems us, the cross. And thereby everything else that God does in our lives that is good, that is wonderful, these wondrous deeds that David is describing. Everything flows from the fountain of the cross. Today, let your mouth loose to thank God audibly and to tell of his wonderful deeds boldly and proudly to everyone you encounter. Lord be with you. I'll see you again tomorrow.